Today's dessert celebrates two of my favorite foods, Jell-O lemon flavored gelatin and pineapples. Jell-O creamy marshmallow and pineapple squares are a gotta have treat your family will love. So let's begin. I'm gonna combine, and I have right here, one and a half cups of honey made graham cracker crumbs. So I'm gonna add to that a quarter cup of melted butter and two tablespoons of sugar. When my kids see these bowls coming out, they know something good's happening in the kitchen. So I'm gonna mix this around with my fork here. And you really wanna make sure you get all the crumbs nice and moist. So now that this is all mixed up, we're gonna put it right in our 13 by nine baking pan. Set this aside. And then, cute little trick here, bottom of a measuring cup, keep those hands clean. And we're gonna press this mixture into the bottom of our pan. This is all set, so I'm gonna bake it at 375 degrees for just eight minutes. And when it's done, I'm gonna let this crust cool completely. All right, so my crust is cooling. So in a mixing bowl, I've already added one package of softened Philadelphia cream cheese and a jar of this Jet Puff marshmallow cream. So I'm gonna flavor this a little bit with a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm gonna mix it using my hand mixer until well blended. All right, this is well blended. So now I'm gonna whisk in one and a half cups of Cool Whip whipped topping. One of my favorite ingredients. This is really what's gonna make this recipe nice and fluffy in the square. Get that nice and blended. So now I'm ready to spread it over my graham cracker crust. Y'all feel free to rotate your pan too. So this is evenly spread, so now I'm gonna pop it in the refrigerator. All right, well that's chilling out in the fridge. In my bowl, I have two packages of Jell-O lemon flavor gelatin, and I'm gonna add to that one cup of boiling water. So I'm gonna stir this until the gelatin's completely dissolved, probably about two minutes. And now for my favorite part, the pineapple. I am using an eight ounce can of crushed undrained pineapple. And it's very important here to use canned pineapple and not fresh because the gelatin won't set up. So I'm just gonna mix this up and I'll refrigerate it for 30 minutes or until slightly thickened. Now I'm gonna spoon this pineapple mixture right over this creamy layer. Look at how pretty that looks. And put it back in the fridge for two hours. This tangy and sweet jello recipe makes 16 servings of creamy marshmallow pineapple squares. To get this and other great recipes, check out craftfoods.com.